Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss data obfuscation. What is data obfuscation? It involves altering or disguising, simply put hiding the real data to prevent unauthorized access while making sure that the data is still usable for whatever purpose we are using it. How, how does that work? Well, simply put, you are using the data, but the data is not clear. It's not when you look at it, when you visually look at it, it's not what it is. It's somehow altered or disguised, but the data is still useful. This happens when you are when we are developing a new a new software and the system development life cycle. When developing, testing, and rolling out new system, organization employ this data obfuscation technique to do what? to safeguard sensitive information. So we want to use the data to test the system to make sure it's working properly as we are designing, implementing, testing the new system. But at the same time, we want to hide the data. So we would use data obfuscation. This approach is crucial, is important in environment where using real data poses a risk of exposure but where the integrity and functionality of the data are necessary for the system validation and operational purpose. So we need the data, the true data, for its integrity and functionality. At the same time, we don't want to risk the data in the hands of the unauthorized people. So the most common data obfuscation method are encryption, tokenization, and masking. We're going to look at each one of those very briefly now, but eventually we're going to look at encryption, tokenization later on, which is part of hashing and masking. But simply put, all three, the whole purpose of using all three is to do what? Altered or disguise the data. Basically, change the data into something else. So each of these methods serves the purpose of safeguarding sensitive data against what? Against unauthorized access. But they do so in a way that they will keep the data use of, use, useful for the organizational process whatever we are doing, developing the system that do not require access to the actual information. Let's go ahead and look at each one of those separately real quick. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Starting with encryption, as I mentioned, we're going to have a separate recording for encryption. Encryption is important, but here we're going to go over it real quick as a form of obfuscation. Encryption involves converting plain readable data. What is a plain real, real, readable data? It's what you are seeing on the screen now, the word plain, the word readable, you can read them into a coded format using cryptographic method. Cryptographic method is a science, is, is a technique that takes the language and uh, make it look like something else. While keeping the meaning, assuming as you know which cryptographic method they used. So only those who possess the appropriate decryption key, which is the, from the crypt cryptographic method, can convert this data back into an original form. There are various encryption methodology, and this is what we'd, what we'd look at in the next session, which primarily differ in how keys are managed and shared among users. So let's take a look at a document, just for the sake of illustration, contains sensitive client information. We could use encryption. This document is transferred into a jumbled character, such as what you are seeing in front of you, which is meaningless without the, the decryption key. So behind every letter, every number and letter, there is the true meaning of things, but that's all what you'd see. You see 7H, GJ, 45K, I. But what does that mean? Well, if you know the key, for example, 7 stand for A, H stand for L, G stand for K, so on and so forth. So there's an encryption behind it. So if someone intercept this information, well, that's all what they see. They would see these, these letters and numbers that don't mean anything. So in able, in able to, un, to understand this, they would use the decryption key, which is if they don't have, they can't do anything. So they need the key to decrypt. This is the basic idea behind encryption. We have a whole session about encryption. 
tokenization tokenization what they do is they replace sensitive data elements with non-sensitive equivalent known as token that has no exploitable value token might be generated through random number generation hashing or encryption we talked about encryption it could also be done through hashing we're going to have a separate recording about hashing unlike encryption unlike the encrypted data token typically retain the original data's format and length but do not allow reverse engineering especially when we use the hashing format to reveal the original data without access to a secure token vault and we're going to see what that means in a moment in other words once you hash the information that's it you cannot reverse it you have to produce the same hashing figures when you in quote decrypt hashing data so in a database storing credit card numbers each number is a pre is replaced with a token for instance a credit card number like one two three four five six seven eight nine zero one two three four five six may be tokenized to something like this a b c d e f g so basically what we did is for every number we tokenize it the real card number is stored securely securely in a token vault and the database uses the token for processing keeping the actual number safe from breaches so when you submit you submit these numbers so the system take the system takes the true numbers converted into these numbers and send it to the to the people or to the to the company that's going to encrypt it the company will take these letters go to the vault open the vault check them against the numbers and see if it works and this is tokenization masking is masking involve replacing original data with fictitious but plausible data this neck this technique ensures that the data remain operationally viable without exposing sensitive information just masking the information we're going to see an example it can be performed in certain ways such as scrambling substituting or nullifying the data or even replacing data with symbol like asterisks an example will be in an employee database sensitive data such as social security number are masked and i'm sure you see this maybe at your work for example a real social security one two three four five six seven eight nine will be the first five digits are masked even or even change to completely different but structured consistent numbers this way the format remain recognizable as social security for testing purposes but the original sensitive information is not exposed let's take a look at this multiple choice question from farhatlectures.com a retail company is upgrading its online payment system to improve customer data protection that's the goal which obfuscation method replaces sensitive customer credit card numbers with a unique identifier that has no extrinsic or exploitable meanings simply put which method will help us obfuscate the information is it encryption tokenization masking or data scrambling well let's look at encryption what is encryption what is encryption encryption is what encryption is transfer the data into a coded format that needs a key okay well to in order to read the data you need the key that's not what you're looking for you are looking to see if the system is working properly because you want to test the system you're upgrading the system you are not protecting the system from external users because encryption in case it, it fall into the wrong hands they cannot decrypt it that's not the purpose for this what is tokenization tokenization is replacing sensitive data with non-sensitive data hold on a second which data obfuscation method replaces sensitive customer credit card information with unique identifier that has no value that's tokenization so how about masking what is masking masking is when you go like when you have the social security one two three four you're masking the numbers and data scrambling is a method of masking basically which is shuffling the numbers or obscured but not replace it with a token data scrambling is a form of masking where you shuffle the numbers tokenization is what fits this definition replacing sensitive information sensitive customer credit card information with a unique identifier that has no exploitable meaning so the answer with this for would be b b as in boy what should you do now you want to go to farhat lectures look at additional mcqs that's going to help you whether you're studying for your cpa exam or accounting courses or finance courses invest in yourself good luck study hard and of course stay safe